my my wife's her aunt lives in Pinehurst, and on the way down to Pinehurst, <clears throat> which is like almost almost the armpit of North Carolina, Sanford would be the armpit. So is that directionally? That's south and west so, or east of here. So straight east across the top of Charlotte, okay. and then down into Hell, where it's hot. Is that where like East Carolina barbecue is? Well, East Carolina would be more north of Hell. Okay. But it's just south underneath Hell's asshole. But Pinehurst is a rich community. But on the way into Pinehurst, you cross past the Tyson plant, and the whole town stinks like chicken. Reeks like carcass, like yeah. death. Yeah. And Can't I'm like, how it. do people even do this job? It's sad. It's sad all around. Everything about that is sad. The animals. What some people are eating, the fact that people have to work in these places and process this, cleaning up dead chickens, you know, like it's just. Where is there a better way to do this? From large scale? Sure. I mean, there's a guy down in Georgia that has regenerative, regenerative agriculture and he does it on a fairly large scale. I think they do like a. 1200 animals a week or something you know it's not tiny but my thing is like how hard would it be for neighborhoods or at least like two or three of the houses in each neighborhood to have chickens and then that feeds the families in the other houses it, w it wouldn't be. It'd be i mean i know i have i have a chef friend in nashville that has chickens in his backyard my first one of my earliest memories is at being at my great granddaddy's house in jacksonville which is just east of hell's asshole it's way down towards the coast, mm. so it's a bit better because there's a breeze. Yep. But I remember he <clears throat> he brought all the my cousins, the kids out. He's like, "All right, kids!" And he throws a chicken on the wood block and chops its head off and throws it, and it's running in circles. Mm. You know what I mean? Yep. And that was how they made their. That was food. normal. That right. was what they yep. did. Yep. I'm actually, I'm kind of a pussy. I you know I I actually love animals way more than I like people. Yeah, sure. Um, so it's a real challenge for me. Well, I've seen slaughter. your connection to your to your son. I mean, <laughs> my, my your dog. dog. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've I've slaughtering is something that I've always had a hard time with. I, I don't enjoy it. How do we get past the slaughter though? We have to eat the chicken, right? Yeah. So I think the next best thing is buying responsibly. You know, you you like if if I lived here, you figure out which farmers market has, you know, a chicken guy at it and. You try it once, you know, presumably he's doing it on a small scale, close to the right way. You maybe talk to him, you know, you learn a little something, look him up, and mm. you just kind of buy buy that local thing. But in terms of going to the store and, you know, just buying whole buying uh, chicken parts and stuff from Tyson, Purdue, all that. It was know. such a different time back then. I mean, he, um, he had like 30 chickens, mm. and like predominantly all of them were hens, you know. Right, right, right. And so they they had eggs for days, yeah. and they whenever they needed a chicken, they would go out there and they Just would grab one. Grab one. Yeah. I mean, that's that's way better than the alternative. Well, I mean, that's you don't have that smell coming out of Tyson. No, no, no it's it's gnarly. Um, you know, there are there are people doing there are producers doing good stuff. It's just it's on us. Back to the McDonald's comment. It's on us to not pull into the drive through. I know, yeah. and I've been doing a lot better. Good for you. Good yeah, for you. my daughter loves their frozen cokes so. though. Well, I mean, who doesn't? That's just a lot of sugar. So sugary. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's probably the, the best thing they serve. Yeah. <laughs> Harmless, right? Yeah, yeah.